Welcome to Tiffin Box TV. I'm your host, Sei Shu. Thank you for joining us for another Inspire interview. I speak with photography industry leaders who make it a habit of inspiring others, bridging craft and commerce to help you create a sustainable and creative business. Today's guest is Graham and Ashley Scobie, the Scobies, wedding photographers now based in Colorado. They will be speaking at the forthcoming Inspire Photo Retreats in Newport, Rhode Island, and the gathering is from February 27th to March 1st in Newport, Rhode Island. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Thanks so for much. having us. Hey, listen, guys, I know you are pros at this. You, uh, for a while, had your own podcast show, I believe. So <laughs> the questions will come just out of my mouth as easy <laughs> as, as possible. I want to know, you're going back to Inspire for the third time, right? Yes. That's correct, yeah. Why? Um, I think we would kind of follow the Inspire family to the ends of the earth. Like, I think that we, wow. they are just, it's such a good group of people. We have had um, the great blessing of speaking at a lot of different conferences and being around a lot of different groups of creative entrepreneurs, photographers, and every conference has its own unique vibe. Um, and I feel like Inspire's vibe is very real. It's very down to earth. The people are there to learn, but they're also willing to do the work. And it makes it really fun to teach there because you get to be a part of actual change. And it's just a great group of people. Yeah. To add to that, I would say um, Inspire is this great mix of very practical teaching um, and and a lot. Like, a, you know, that you can learn so much from so many people. Sometimes the hard part is choosing who you're going to go see um, and listen to. And um, so you've got you've got that like practical, really good teaching mixed with this community thing that only Inspire has. Mm -hmm. um, the community there is just uh, incredible, and there's really an emphasis on um, on the fact that we are all uh, we're all in this together, and we're all there to build each other up and to push the industry forward mm -hmm. as as this collective of people. Um, so yeah, to yeah. to second what Ashley was saying, we would we would follow, uh, you know, the Inspire crowd to the end of the earth. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's like a work hard, play hard crew, you know, like they, it's true. I remember our first Inspire. Karaoke is pretty intense. Yeah, we were at karaoke and someone hops on the dance floor with a horse head on and I was like, <laughs> oh, these are our people. <laughs> like, perfect. <laughs> That's great. Now, you, this is not the third time you're coming to speak or present or is it? It is. It is. Yeah. it is. Fantastic. So each time you, you've come to Inspire and you've presented, you must, no, you must notice something different about the, the community. What has changed in your mind for the better? Mm. Yeah. I, I think that, um, the, that the community aspect of Inspire is only getting stronger. I think, you know, the first year we went, and maybe, and maybe that's just us kind of getting to know um, you know, the community and, and, and feeling, you know, uh, more connected there. But I feel like the, the first time we went, um, community was, was there and it was awesome. Um, but then we, we go back the next year and we see the same faces and we kind of pick up where we left off and we get deeper and deeper into, um, into the community. And, and, um, I think, I think other people have recognized that maybe the leadership team has recognized that and has really encouraged that and fostered the, um, the community aspects of it. Absolutely. And organizationally, they just keep getting stronger. I think the leadership has just found where the, the places that need to be improved are and they've constantly improved upon them. And it's been, you know, conferences are hard. It is not an easy thing to put on a conference. And I think that, um, you know, when you know a little bit more about the back end of it, you realize what a feat it really is to be able to constantly improve upon a good thing. And they've done a really good job. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking forward to going back again. And uh, as you correctly pointed out, it is sort of anchored on community. It's mm -hmm. anchored on growing uh, a, to be a better photographer in the following year which is why I think it's the early part of the year uh, in, in, in February. Um, mm. And you're, and I think I'm personally excited to be back to, you know, just to connect with other photographers and talk shop, of course. You know, not talk about gear as much as, but, you know, just to compare, you know, things like skill sets, 
uh, talking about approach, talking about how do I do this and having a conversation over beer with, with another photographer from mm -hmm. another part of either New England or the West Coast or wherever they're coming from just to talk about, you know, how they approach it, how they're going to, I mean, this is the time to do it, really, you know, uh, when you're not all frazzled and going crazy, right? Um, yeah. What are you going to be teaching us this time around? Yeah, so we have, we're teaching twice. We have a Monday workshop that awesome. is um, a really long workshop. It's about four hours. And we have kind of a shorter class. And our shorter class is about kind of the importance of dreaming and building a business that truly supports your dreams. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be talking a lot about just how entrepreneurs, we're all dreamers. That's just a part of who we are. It's built into our DNA. We would not have done this crazy thing of going out on a limb and saying, I'm going to work for myself if we didn't have big dreams. But a lot of times working for yourself, being a small business owner kind of squashes those dreams because you end up working all the time. You don't have boundaries. And the things that you really set out to focus on kind of get put on the back burner. Um, and something that we are incredibly passionate about is helping people figure out what are those things, if you can remember at the offset of your business, what are those things that matter to you more than anything, that set your soul on fire, that kind of, resonated with who you are at the very center of your being. Let's find those things and let's put them back in the spotlight. And the reason that we do that is because it gives you a life that's fulfilled, a life that's joyful. And the how, like the how um, is something that we're going to be talking about on Monday at our workshop. And that's going to be a lot of digging into the nitty, nitty gritty of what it looks like to set up your business to have automation, outsourcing, workflow, systems, all of the things that kind of become life rafts for your business when you feel like you're drowning, <laughs> when you feel like, you know, because you can drown in good things, right? That's the thing is we can say yes to so many things because a lot of entrepreneurs are also, we don't like saying no to things because every opportunity feels like, oh, that sounds good or that sounds really good. That sounds great. I'll do it all, <laughs> right? And then you end up realizing that because you're doing it all, you're not doing any of it well. Um, and so we're going to really spend a long time, a lot of time with people digging into their businesses where their kind of pain points are, their challenges are, and how we can sort of set up their business to really support those things that they love more than anything else. I'm going to put you on the spot for a second. Is that a cool? Yeah, absolutely. So give us one little hint or tip where one could focus on one thing. Yeah. Where, yeah. What would you say? What would, well, how would you say or how would you recommend people prioritize to the point where they are focused on one thing and not doing four or five things at a time? What would you yeah. tell them? We, so we, we uh, have had this thing for our business called our North Star, and it's um, – We've uh, we started we had have we had a very informal process we just kind of uh, stumbled our way into this but we've since formal formalized the process to help people find their own north stars um, and essentially the our, our north star there, it's the three values um, not just in our business but in our life that we want to that, that we want our life to be about. So for us, uh, our example is um, we we love people. We think people are good. We think if we invested in people, um, and that's all that we do with our lives, that it would be a good good life. Um, we value relationships. We think they're the most incredible um, uh, experience that we can have as humans because we can empathize with one another and we can understand each other and we can um, love each other. So people, relationships, and moments are so fleeting and they go uncelebrated so often. Um, and so we've set up our life and our business to be about people, moments, and relationships. Mm -hmm. um, and that sounds really ethereal, but it actually informs every tactical, strategic decision that we make, whether that's um, the, the relationships that we have with our clients, the way, that we, um, the way that we market ourselves, the way that we shoot, what we look for, um, when we're shooting and then what happens um, in the division of the office and the and the home um, and and how that plays out in our life yeah um, so finding your north star um, is uh, in, in, my, in our mind it's critical to setting 
uh, to creating a business that supports your dreams. Yeah, naming that is so incredibly important because it it informs our yeses and even more importantly, it informs our noes and it helps us to be really clear about every decision we make. It We say, does it honor people? Does it honor moments? Does it honor relationships? Because you, if you're going to walk 20 miles, you can walk one mile in 20 directions or you can walk 20 miles in one direction and you're obviously going to get further if you are constantly moving towards the thing, right? The thing that matters most. And so it's something that because it doesn't seem it doesn't seem as important or as immediate as answering your emails. There's no ping for things like that, right? To to kind of articulating things like that, but we feel like it is so so important. So yeah, if we were going to give one super important thing that would be it for sure naming your north star fantastic wow uh can't wait i really can't uh, this is going to be amazing um i hope i can si- still sign up for your workshop though i think that'll be that'll be the ticket right i mean yeah because these things gonna are going to where... go fast right yeah yes, that's going to yeah. be where the nitty-gritty is for sure and that's the part that's we love a lot of things about teaching we love getting to know people and just hanging out with them and kind of hearing about you know when you're in a small group like that, it's one of those things where you get to like turn to the person next to you and be like, oh my gosh, you too. Because this is a very different life that we lead. It's not something, right. you know, we're not all accountants or doctors or I don't know, teachers or like, you know, things where there was a degree that you had to get and a handbook that you have to read and somebody leads the way for you. So it's so nice to kind of get into those rooms and be a commu- in community where you kind of feel like I'm not the only one. Like we're all crazy and that's okay. You there know? you go. Excellent. <laughs> hey, where can people find you online? Yeah. So we're online at the Scobies on Instagram. Um, just T H E S C O B E Y S. Um, the Scobies.com. And then we also uh, have a mailing list where we send out to kind of free tips and um, some cool stuff that we run across, and we've got a um, an ebook that's out right now um, about time savers for your business, mm-hmm. kind of winning some of your time back. Um, and you can find that at the scobies dot online. Awesome, fantastic! I will make sure to link all of those uh, sites up, and uh, hopefully, people will be directed to your your spaces online so cool. find Thank out more you. about what you do yeah welcome hey thanks for joining me today i look forward to meeting you guys again in uh february awesome that sounds awesome thanks issue take care bud bye bye, bye.